dead, but here, your spirit is. Master? Is it you? Jabal, you're alive! Not, not quite. I am not Jabal. I am the guardian of the sixth sacred altar. I protect the holy flame until it passes to my successor. But, but you look like Jabal. Jabal made the sacred altar our last hope against the emperor. Now, I must see if you are fit to wield the power of the Holy Flame. Prepare yourselves. Oh, I have to, I have to fight Jabal. Great. That's not good. He's probably going to whoop my ass. Judging by the enemies in this area. Uh, Mice has to stay in, I'm assuming. Muza and Soshi will keep. Can I, can I swap him out? Let's give it a shot. Nope, can't swap him out, he has to stay, so that's the party we're going with. I just need to make sure I focus Mice immediately for healing because he is so low. Okay, um, you need to heal yourself. And then Muza, heal him as well. We need Mice at full power here. Do it quickly, don't get hit, don't get hit. Oof, gotta heal off, good. 47, nice, okay. Now you can start using your summons, because you have a lot of them. And then hopefully Muza will get a heal off as well. Good. Good, we've got mice back in relatively decent working order. Okay, while you've got the chance, heal up Soshi, because he's now the lowest. And mice get Golda into action. Let's whoop this guy's ass. Golda! So sorry about this, Jabal, but I have to. You leave me literally no choice. I have to fight you. And I have to win so that I can inherit this sacred flame, holy flame thing. 392, that was alright, I guess. You looked like you just kind of shrugged it off, but... <laughs> we know, I don't think we ever saw a fighter form for Jabal. He looks pretty badass. Okay, let's summon Golda again. She's still our strongest hitter, I believe. Let's get Soshi healed up. Jabal has not attacked us yet, which has me a little bit worried. Because if he's not attacking, he's saving up for something big. And that's not good. Uh, he'll Soshi again, get him capped off. Use Golda. Why aren't you attacking, Jabal? This is... Something's not right here. Something is really not right. You know, he's not blocking this time. That's not good. What are you planning, Jabal? What are you planning? Did a ton of damage, 960, holy shit. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's summoning his own uh, elemental beast. That doesn't look good, that does not look good. It's hitting all three of us, that's not good. Wow. Whoa. That hit like a truck. Jesus. Um. Uh. I don't know what to do here. Holy shit. Just about killed everybody. Hit him with Flurneal quickly. That's not good. That's really, really not good. That took out, like, everybody's health, like, by half. It was crazy. He's blocking again, which is good. That means he's not building up an attack right now. Jeez. Uh, we've got one more Florennial. Let's use that again and get my skilled up once more. Because everybody needs more health now. Hopefully Muza and Soshi can survive if Mice goes down. Let's heal Muza. He's now the lowest. Flurneal again. Let's hope he blocks it, because otherwise he's building up for an attack. That's not good. Okay, good. He's blocking it. Whew! We're safe for now. We are still in the good, in the safe zone. How much health does he have, though? Like, I did a thousand damage just 
go just about a thousand damage a minute ago, 960. I can barely tell what damage I'm doing to him because all the, the white letters on blue, all the white numbers on blue. Oh, come on, be blocking. Damn, he's not blocking, he's going to attack soon. That's not good. I'm tempted to defend to try and cut the damage down. I may have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have mice defend for a sec. Yep, here it comes. Round two. God, that beast looks terrifying. Like, it looks like something that would really fuck me up, so I'm really not surprised that it does. Alright, mice blocked some of the damage. So that helped him, but Soji and Moose are still so low. Right, I'm gonna have mice, uh... Start his summons again. Rove. Oh, he's attacking. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Muza and Soshi are not prepared for this, and I'm not defending. That's not good. That's really not good. Just just miss. If you could just miss, that'd be great. I'd really appreciate that. You're not gonna miss. You're totally not gonna miss. Oh, Soshi's dead. Soshi's dead. That's not good. Um, spell, no, not spell. Why didn't you use your attack? I told you to use Rogue. Um, oh, it's because Soshi died. It reset them. Uh, heal yourself, Musa. You're now the lowest. Oh, this is really not good. I don't I think by this point he's probably not going to be blocking. He's probably ready for another attack soon. No, he's still blocking. Okay. That's, that's fine by me. I'm not going to complain. Oh, we defeated him. Sweet. He didn't have to go through a weekend state. We defeated him. We only lost one person, but we made it. We beat Java. Whew. It was, that was intense. You have defeated me. This means you walk with the elemental spirit. Sweet. You have surpassed Jobble's power, so I bestow upon you the power of the Holy Flame. Awesome! Upgrades. The Flame of Darkness burns feebly on the moon. It is this same flame that the Clan of Darkness once fought over. The Master lamented this ugly struggle, so he banished the flame. The Emperor wants to rekindle the Flame of Darkness with the Flame of the Light. My child, you will soon be reawakened as I have. What? What? You will understand when the time comes. Now, prepare yourselves and wish, wish to be carried to the moon. Well, I mean, if it were that easy. Sadina, mice, take care of each other. Believe in each other. Oh, what the hell? This is are these the towns. Yeah, these are all the towns I went to. The Star Plateau is collecting power from all across the world. Holy shit. From all the spirits. Okay, I gotta say, that's an awesome location, by the way. That looks like a badass place to have an altar. And holy shit, we're going to the moon. Good thing there's plenty of oxygen there, right? I mean, right? Because otherwise that would be a pretty short mission, considering that it's the robot guy we're trying to kill. But uh, I guess we're gonna be all right. This is the moon. The sacred altar of the dark of the darkness should be around here. Let's hurry, mice. Let's do this, guys. Let's stop the emperor and save the world. After we save. Okay. Now, the real question is. What the hell? I was about to ask how tough is this place gonna be, but maybe it's just all scenic? 
Who enters these ruins? We are ancient memories. We are the minds of the ancients. We are of the darkness. All life began here, in the distant past. Separated into two clans, we are one. Darkness. We manipulated elemental power better than our counterparts. That was our pride. Acquiring greater power, it was ecstasy. Our ancestors forged the swords as best they knew, as they believed it was their fate. Uncovering secrets and utilizing elemental power was our reason for existence. We believed that using the holy flame bestowed upon us by our god was our mission. Hmm. One day, an evil blacksmith, with the support of other dark blacksmiths, tried to become a god. He tried to acquire all the elemental power in the moon, the remnants of the primordial flame. He claimed himself emperor. War ensued, and the moon was brought to the verge of destruction. Animosity, suffering, of the darkness. Please destroy him, and lead us to peace. His power exceeded that of a god, and he began acting deranged. Nobody could stop him. The blacksmiths of the dark side followed the emperor, using this power so irresponsibly pleased him, pleased them. Weary from the war that had no end, a band of these blacksmiths revolted. They were the best blacksmiths the dark side had to offer. Alas, they were powerless against the emperor. In response to the revolt, these blacksmiths were ostracized. A prodigy of the dark blacksmiths escaped to the land of the light. Whatever became of that child? Hmm. Oh, battle. So there's battles and story. Oh, Omega Honey. Okay. All right then. Let's. I. <laughs> I've got all my summons back, which is good. So let's just save those for the big boss fight at the end of this. Let's stick to uh, fighting one-on-one -on -one for now. That's so weird. But it's, okay, so it sounds like... I'm not sure if the Emperor is the prodigy child that escaped and just took on the name of the Emperor like the previous Emperor. Or if the prodigy child is related in some other way. Because it seems to, it sounds like it happened a long time ago. So I'm not exactly certain. I just, it's a really, it's a really confusing story, honestly. But like, the Clan of the Light is from our world, the Clan of the Dark is from the Moon. They had like a war amongst themselves on the Dark Planet, and everything was destroyed. But somehow they were on the light planet in the end to try and steal the light to renew the flame of the dark. Uh, and then that death thing went through. I hate that attack. I hate that attack so much. If it lands, it insta kills someone. That is bullshit. Such bullshit. Let's have you attack now. No, don't stand by. I need you to heal. No, not cure. Heal. There you go. Come on, Musa, fuck this guy up. And he's healing himself! He's healing himself! Okay, he's healing himself for more damage than I can do. That's not right. Stop it! How am I supposed to beat this thing if it keeps healing itself? I need to take this fight a little more seriously. I thought it would be a relatively easy one, but apparently not. There we go, finally killed Jesus. Just took one Stormbinder to tear it apart, that was stupid. Instantly killing mice and then healing up for 500.